this is Kara with the Ministry of Uncovered No More. <clears throat> Excuse me. I began to do a piece of artwork <clears throat> last week. And it's because I just really hit rock bottom with people doing two things to me. Because of my spirituality, it just is painful and nobody cares. Literally, nobody cares. And this has been something I didn't even know I was dealing with until after my mother died. Because, you know, your parents are good parents a lot of times. But they had to be raised by other adult humans and who knows what those humans were dealing with. Okay. And so it gets complicated. And in my situation, I was called and am thankful that I am privileged with 12 pregnancies, two of which are, in, are on the other side. They're, they are lives on the other side. Yes, I know who they are. So for all of you fucktoids out there who expect require that it be holy for a mother of a conceived child to keep the child. I am a high level spiritualist who has been in churches since I was seven years old and a visionary person like Jim Baker or Bobby Connor or John Paul Jackson whose death I testified through. Um, Paula Kane White, who was Donald Trump's spiritual advisor. What the living fuck was that? Because people like me, you know, we're the ones that they joke, are we gonna burn the witch? you know, or the sorceress. It's not burn the sorceress. There's reasons for that. Don't talk to me about it. Okay. So for all of you, the child is a child. But that child, she and he must grow in a body. That is a female body. to rest in peace in heaven, you know, Eric Clapton, no more tears in heaven, no, there aren't, until heaven reaches earth, and then yes, there are, that's a tricky one, but a very good song, and a beautiful rendition, most of the time, when Eric Clapton is playing the guitar and singing. that human being is homosexual and will never have a child but might adopt and be a beautiful parent to a woman who has 12 children two of which went above by miscarriage they are children the spark of life is real they do not move past the age of innocence, they go to heaven in Christian terms. I happened to see the heartbeat of my two children before they were taken from me.
souls dwell in the United States of America by Kara's standards. That was the huge sign. Moving on, but it's the same concept. Did you hear what I said? Expectation require. Okay, and so when I began the piece of artwork, which I'm hopefully going to finish today, all of a sudden, as my penmanship came up for me to use, I picked up an ink pen. slower, much slower. It's not going to cascade out of my form of artwork. I know enough now to know that about myself. How I spelled it within the fluffy part of the tree this is a fluffy part tree, you know, where the leaves are, it's a fluffy part, but this was an interesting process. The blog article is simply going to be titled, Rewire, and I went around not quite crying, saying I'm sick and tired of everybody requiring so much of me, just to accept me. Now, you can tell my feelings are loud. You have no idea how much I cried yesterday because of all the rejection in my life. And I actually contacted people who I now have to consider enemies because they're still lying about me or shunning me. That's Amish, y'all. Some of you are Amish in my life. You shun me. That is a fucking shitload of cultishness. Okay. Here's how I spell it now. R-E-C-H-O-I-R. -E because let me ask all of you a question in the Western world. do in your life and expected you to do it and then if you said that's not the way I'm going to do it as an adult they picked you apart incessantly how many people like that do you have in your life as possible after trying over and over again to get it to stop. What's it, Kara? Civil War. Civil War. I'm calling this Civil War 3. Civil War 3 is for me. This is my third Civil War. I don't want to talk about the other two. So this one has new boundaries. And so when I am crying my eyes out to the point of snot coming out of my nose, I paint, I read, I have to talk some, but I'm gonna be talking less. And everybody, everybody's karma gets fixed around me that I actually have power over because I talk to you about my spiritualist side, right? Okay. So, you know, I'm on I-35. This goes straight to San Antonio, but I'm not
not going to San Antonio today. I wish to God I didn't ever have to go back, but I am probably fucking gonna fucking hell have to go back someday. Soon, one would presume. Anyway, I'm crossing over to where my last two children were born in this area at the Seton which is Catholic. How nice. It's Catholic. What the cute part was, my doctor's name was Dr. Michael Love. And he's good friends with my sidekick. No, I'm kidding. Curtis is not a sidekick, but the other adult who decided to have the 12 pregnancies with me. Okay. So, there's the capital. I'm cross, I'm University of Texas, MLK in 15. Well, MLK is the next book I'm going to read. It's a little one. That's good because the black people are having to duke it out and probably cry with snot running down their nose as much or more as I am because I'm just white trash, meaningless person to most everybody in Austin, Texas. But I'm coming back anyway because it's part of me and I love me. And I love the people and they don't love me enough to cross the bounds of whatever the fuck this is. It's because I didn't meet their expectations and I ain't gonna do it if you tell me to do it. Period. After what I've been through in the Christian church. I'm not stubborn. I listen and I try to help you or I'll do to try to help you. I'll even do what you say and thank you for giving me that wisdom. But you know, those days are gone in Kara's civil War three. You've been left behind. No, I'm not going to sing it. Like a hippie girl, 1966. I ain't singing it. I am not in the singing mood this morning. Require. Okay, so I'm going to back this down. Everything from baby boomers to Gen Z that are 21 and older. Definitely not younger. You people, get over yourselves and respect your good parents. If you have bad parents, I'm terribly sorry. I am not a bad parent, so fuck off the narratives. Kara rolls into Austin. Okay? Just fuck off the narratives. I'm tired of your narratives. This is, again, Civil War III. I didn't say World War III. Yeah, I am very aware that that puppy's happening. You want to talk, again, spiritualistic terms. It's Armageddon. I'm talking more apocalypse here. You know, my little corner of that shit show. Because anything having to do with the quote-unquote spiritualistic thingy called the apocalypse, you know, zombie apocalypse, Halloween, hallelujah, uh, that's just all civil war. It's just, it's just civil war. And it just, you know, when I was coming through the point of realizing the choir, C-H-O-I-R, the, 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 the peep zone choir is even in my head. I have been told what to do so much by all ages, all ages. Even a baby will tell you what to do with that cry. You know? Think about that. But I don't consider that telling me what to do. I'm a mother. Of course I don't want my child to have a dirty diaper. Whether that diaper was cloth or disposable. Yes, I did both. And I don't want the child to be hungry. And I love sitting down and feeding my 
my baby's bottles for breastfeeding. But no, I do not. Even if it's my grandchild, no, I do not want to feed your child. That's your job, mom and dad. That is a great place to do something called bond with the child. And I've done plenty of bonding. I can bond with animals for crying out loud. They love me. I love them. At this point, I'm just going to attack one of my spiritual side that's more, more to do with animals because humans are messed up around me. And, and they're not fixing themselves. And here's where the pagan comes in. Because, like, uh, if you listen to Fawn, they've got some, some singles that are really good. And one of them talks about, you know, you're fighting everything. The only thing you have left to conquer is yourself. And that's where I, I, I live and breathe rainstones because that's spiritualism that, yeah, 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 the paranormal really shows up around me. Oh, yeah. And I know how to call it, and that's cool. But um, runestones, it's like, okay, did you see this? Did you see this? See, see the message? Because I allow the discipline of runestones in my life. See, the right thing, the correct thing, the left thing, the correct thing about religion, what it has taught me, and the nice things about relationship that I no longer have because people are offended at offense. People are offended at offense. An offense, if you're looking, looking at runestones and whatnot, offense is there to teach you something. And then you are supposed to do, I don't know about other ancient volumes, but the Bible tells you, you know, to rejoice evermore, to pray without ceasing, in everything give thanks, for this is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus. Now, his name's a different name this time. But he ain't saying anything different. The word of God is true. The Quran's got a lot of truth in it. But if you're going to just take a book, one book, that's been sold and given away the most, it's the Bible. So what don't we start embracing it just a little bit and stop joking about it because it's real. It's true. What the problem is, is requirements that people of authority put on the Bible to control people. And it ain't just the ones calling themselves Christians doing it. Atheists can do that. Agnostics, Buddhists, all of them. You gotta shake a leg when it comes to wanting to put requirements on people. Cause that's just flat out fucking Cuban. Control is a human mechanism of free will that sucks. Okay? Wake the fuck up. Some people have to require things. It's just our job. Okay? And other people don't have to require things. And let me tell you what your job is. It's not to hate on yourself. See, I know what it is to be told what to do too much. Just like you. Okay? And to feel small. And to feel ugly. And to feel alone. And I am actually, a lot of the times, alone now. Don't cry for me. It's better this way. The only part of me is pretending that I like what I just said now. In my civil Okay, but the choir needs to shut the fuck up. And, and, and I'm literal here. Everybody is learning to be a little kinder around me. Stop. And you know, stop telling me what to do. Stop telling me when I'm angry. Okay. I had to flip a teenager's switch yesterday because they said, you're just mad at me. A couple of them were saying that. And I looked at one of them and I was just like, you know, I'm really tired of this switch flipping going on in my life. I, I, I done been here, done this with 10 kids. I ain't going to tell you which person it was. And don't assume it was one of my 
content. Don't assume anything about me anymore, please, America. Now, I said you want to see what mad looks like? Sure. Okay. <laughs> i tell you what my mom's mad was, so I just took a page out of her book, but I added to it because she didn't have 10 kids. I did. And some of that's ADD, so you can just fuck off. I was about as perfect as they come when it comes to kids. Okay. And, uh, but there was only one or two of me, you know, because my brother popped off when I was 14. Thanks for that, dude. Because seriously, I miss him still. And I, but I particularly missed him when I was having to take care of that mama of mine who, shoo wee, she messed up. Okay. I'm still living with that shit. And I ain't living with it anymore in my Civil War III. You're, I'm just done. I'm just done. If and when I go back to San Antonio, I ain't going to be anything clonic by the time I'm over there. They they just better stay away because I'm, I'm just so done with you people. You're all squeaky clean, clean Christian. Stay away from me. Okay. Um, anyway what mad looked like my mom one time because I wouldn't clean up my room just as pristine as possible and believe me I don't require too much my standards are way lower than a lot of people's because I'm just I'm not going to explain that I'm not going to explain why my standards as far as a clean bedroom is lower it's not worth my time to prove yet again how ugly humans can be in their private lives, okay? I don't need to do that. Um, and if you didn't know that, and if you're not ready to own it, that you're kind of ugly in your private life, then, you know, get off this blog article. You're one of those people that likes to require things and try to, you know, get people to do things, control on passive aggression kind of shit. I'm not, you know, no thank you. Um, but I was evidently not cleaning up my closet and stuff as much as, as well as my mother wanted. So she just took everything out of it and put it in the middle of the room. I had to put it back, which, um, I've actually done that because, uh, ADD people can't focus and like put their clothes away. Did you know that? Yeah, I know that. I know that. And, and, and you don't punish what they can't do. That's, that's bullshit. Cruel. And so I wasn't that way. And there was, you know, only two kids. And my mother had issues. But, you know, she had been raped as a child. And she wasn't telling anybody. So, fuck off. Saying anything about me, a perfect kid who was there for my parents and everybody else... Uh, but raised by a woman who was so broken by the time she got there and she wouldn't talk about it and she wouldn't let us know so you know that screws your life over whether you like that or not American Gen X and baby boomer okay that screws your life that's why I had snot running down my nose yesterday okay can I get any clearer for anybody in the United States of America and Europe. Probably not. Good, because I need to go. Require. So, if, if you're one of the little people and you're not allowed to require anything and you feel, like, overtaken, okay, I, I, I have compassion for us. That's an us thing because I've been there, done that. The, again, my Civil War III is, is, is coming from a different position. So, bear with me because you can't do this. I can I can, but when you're 55, maybe you'll be able to do it. So you keep this in mind. Keep the peace. I appreciate you peacekeepers out there. I, and I've got kids that are peacekeepers, and I love that about them. But um, anyway, um, I, there's no answers here. Nurture yourself. Please, please learn to meditate. Please, if you pray, do it. I invoke. I don't pray anymore. Again, that has to do with my spirituality. But prayer is very real. And it, and it 
do it. Does it work, Kara? Shut up. I don't know. Yes, it does. Sometimes I'm told no back in my Christian day. And that's where I am going to scream, please use rune stones. Because, again, it's conquering ourselves. But, but if you've been a Christian like me, you can't listen to the rhetoric of the Christian church about this. And you can't read the Bible because they've taught it wrong. Okay? You've got to understand that the experiences that I'm giving you, and yes, you can hear my pain, and you know that I cried yesterday, and you're not understanding why I cried yesterday. I'll give you a snapshot for just a minute. And, and, and the reason that I began the process of this healing, this is a healing for me. See, it's beautiful. Uh, I, I'm in an exorcism of my own self. I allowed it to happen the minute that I spelled the word require the way I did because it was meaningful to me. It meant something deep. But then I have to go through the anger issues and the, 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 the feelings of loss that I have because I have so many people willing to disrespect me still and tell me what to do and just walk off my pain. I have too many people in my life that are willing to still do that. And the, how I'm going to heal is through my blog because I'm going to read the book of First John and I'm going to teach it actively on Uncovered No More. And I am still in obedience to the Word of God because I'm not going to walk into a church. I'm not going to sell it. I'm going to give it away on UncoveredNoMore.blog and I'm going to heal myself because I'm going to tell you what the Bible means in real time after an over 40 year Christian life where I'm watching people stop all over the true Word of God call it correct and walk off more sadistic than they actually understand in a gray zone that they, than they really are. You can't do this and be morally correct. What I am watching people do to each other, you cannot do this. You need to change. Now embrace runestones, please. Understand ancient wisdom is real and that you can apply it simply. Use Mr. Ralph Bloom's work. Use his book. Use his stones. He is the master. Worldwide. John Paul Jackson of Streams Ministries International was, was and is a master of dream interpretation. Worldwide. But he's gone and he's not coming back. He's resting in peace now. He's interpreting where there are no tears, like Eric Clapton sings. And I'm happy for him, and I'm happy for his family now. That process was long and arduous. Now, I am a dream interpretation specialist. I'm a runestone specialist. I am using tarot now from the garden, because I love to garden. And that's, that's my mediums. I actually threw away last night luck cards. That's no. I'm not going to do luck. Because too many people will try to overpower you in the spiritual realm. Well, um, fuck off. You are requiring too much of my spirituality at this point, if you know me. Number one, you're not requiring enough of your spirituality, if you know me. Number two. That is called from the book of Revelation, Laodicean. God is spitting you out of his, her mouth constantly. And so you're splattered all over the concrete. How's that for a little fey tale? Okay. But all in all, you need to love your neighbor as yourself in this messed up world. And biting people verbally over and over and over again and then cutting them off and walking off your mess is going to produce a karma in your long-term situation that you do not think about in the short term. Okay? You're just ashamed or something. I don't know. You deal with yourself. But the karma long-term of what you're dealing with is all over the systems of the United States of America and Europe. And we need to bring kindness back. 
if I, if I really wanted to show the point today, I'd grab my, my um, sidewalk chalk and leave you a message here in the parking lot where I am about to get a cup of coffee. Okay. No, I don't know what artwork I'm going to look at. I brought a coloring book today. I think I'm going to keep it simple. I have got a major runestone thing to, to deal with that I need to read. I may choose not to go to parks today. I went to parks on Friday and had some powerful rune draws that are beautiful, and it's going to need to go on blogs. I will say in my Civil War III, uh, things are going slower, and I am so thankful for that as far as being an artist and just a woman who is still mentoring and being with people. I, I, I want some new relationships, though. I'm, I'm tired of relationships going sour because of mismanagement. The Word of God, mismanagement of emotions internally to situations, lying, betraying, and all of that that means nothing to anyone. Okay. Love you. Bye.